What's going on, everybody? So finally, the Raiders are getting some love. Khalil Mack, this dude has been a stud for so long. Um, they're starting the year off with him as the best defensive player. Now, Von Miller is also, you know, very, very similar with a lot of the traits. Um, but at this time, if you've asked me who I would want, I would, I would go Khalil Mack. I just, I, the one thing I don't understand, though, is um, he plays in the 3-4, like, but they, they have 4-3 and 3-4. I would think it would be smarter to put him as a linebacker so that people can use him also as a left-end or a right-end as well, but uh, that's just me. Um, it's going to be pretty tough for a lot of guys that's, that run 3-4 because they, it, to be able to put the guys in the proper position, you know what I'm saying? Uh, it, it becomes very, very difficult to kind of alter the way it is, but it's just much easier. You know, he's a left outside linebacker, right outside linebacker, whatever, whatever kind of linebacker. He's just a lot better, but I do like his new camp physical front. Um, added the block shed, added the hit power, added the tackle. Um, you know, the things like I said that I'm noticing on defense, I, I do expect the block shed to be similar. I'm not sure right now because nobody's really been talking about it, uh, but I have heard that nano detection is not in the game. I'm not 100% sure if that's true. Um, if you don't know what nano detection is, nano detection was something that was implemented into Madden 17 as something to fix um, what quote unquote nanos with you know instant pressure. But the funny thing about it is, if you use the D line and you had something called jump the snap cam, I had guys coming faster than any nano I've ever seen in my life. And the last year that I believe that I saw a nano was maybe Madden 2002. Um, because that, that was a time where they just put the game out, there was no patches, you had to deal with it the way it came out. And honestly, it was a much more enjoyable game because you learned to adjust to what was going on and that's all you had to learn to adjust to. There weren't new patches that destroyed the game and then you had to now figure out how to deal with a broken game. Um, so looking at it the way it is right now, uh, Khalil Mack, to give him a card that's 90 overall, if this man does well throughout the year, which I fully expect, I, I fully, the Raiders is one of the teams, if Derek Carr is healthy, right? The Patriots are a monster team. But the only teams that I give them a chance, and listen, it, he has to play, Carr has to be unbelievable. He has to be unbelievable, and the defense has to, they have to get to Tom Brady. Uh, I'm talking like, you know, playoffs. I give the Raiders a chance to beat the Patriots, but there's only one other team that I give a chance to, and I'm not gonna say the Steelers, the Houston Texans. If you guys understand something, um, defensively last year, the Texans pretty much dominated and I, when I say dominate, I mean dominated the Patriots in the playoffs, but they couldn't score. They, they couldn't do anything. And, um, you know, the quarterback sucked, but now with Deshaun Watson. And, and he, he's a stud. He, he's the guy that I'm telling you right now, yo, took care, bro, took care of St. Nick in the championship game. The dude is just a great player. He's just, you know, some people you can't really talk about, oh, yeah, this and he's just a great player. He's going to find a way. Because with that defense... It's sort of like this. You see like how um, Dak had that great old line. He had something coming in as a rookie. I think defensively, with the defense being able to be as good as they are and knowing that they have a guy that can score, I think that them, the, the Texans defense being rested and being as dominant as they are and having a quarterback that can now score, I, I, I would watch out for the Texans. I'm just being honest about it. But like I said, if you guys are not following my, my other channel, look in the description box. Um, go there. That's my sports channel, G Maya. Be there for the door of the NFL season because I go ham and I give you brutal honesty about your team. And that's why a lot of people watch, you know, watch those videos um, that I have here right now at G Maya's World uh, for my playlist because that's something that I'm very, very passionate about. And I want to make people understand what the outside person that's objective because I don't have an NFL team. I'm not a fan of any team. I'm a fan of football. So I'm being very objective about what I see. And that's what makes it very, very entertaining. So if you don't know about that, uh, we have the playlist right here live at Jemaya's World. But everything's going to be getting transferred over this coming season, this NFL season to Jemaya. So click that box and uh, subscribe to me on that channel. But Khalil Mack is going to be a major difference maker. And I think that with the rest of that core defense, um, Emerson and them boys, I think that they can make some noise. Uh, but the Patriots are still the favorite overwhelmingly. Overwhelmingly. And, and again, the Texans are dangerous because they have a great... They, have, they just have a great core defense. And I know they lost players and this and that. Still the same defense, in my opinion. J.J. Watt comes back healthy. Jadavion Clowney starts playing like how he played to, to, to go into that playoffs. Let me just let you know something right now. It's nothing more vicious than getting, oh, instant pressure 
from the front three in a three four front four and a four three so understand that but again the Raiders play both they're a hybrid defense so I don't know why they would choose to put him as a left and maybe they can adjust it I don't know uh, maybe when they release a team of the week player somebody can get um, into one of the EA Sports developers ears to make sure that they know it's probably better for him to be a linebacker kind of helps out uh, defensively with it but just looking at the, uh, the chems and the things like that and his ratings I can imagine that this year is going to be a very, very important year about attributes as far as block shedding to get to the pass rusher. I think they're going to actually make it matter. Um, not like this year where uh, Matt, well, Madden 17 is coming to an end where you get a bronze D line and they're screaming, you know, on, on, on an elite O line. Um, so that's something that we have to look forward to. Uh, let's see what, what else is coming with that. I can't wait um, to see exactly how that works out. I hope that you guys are really excited about it. Like I said, I'm going to play Mutt. But again, I'll be playing NBA 2K18. Um, I will be doing mud squads with, um, you know, with various players. Some guys are from the NFL, so look out for that. Uh, I'll do that announcement later. But um, as far as my team goes with mud squads, I'll be, you know, picking and choosing who I want in different instances. Maybe I'll do something with my Twitch subs. If you guys are not following me on Twitch right now, go right now to Twitch uh, and click that heart for G Myers World and uh, join me during a live stream. But he's the best card, and I know Von Miller probably has the same rating, but. I would take a little Mac over Von Miller right now. Call me crazy, whatever. I think this guy has the most upside. Until next time, one love.